Oh, right here at the bank, dude. Oh, got him. Guys, these exotic snakehead are so much fun to catch. I casted right behind the yak pack, and I was like, there's no way I'm gonna catch a fish. My frog land in the same spot. Cut this nice bass. What is going on, folks? Welcome to the Fishing Norm YouTube channel. Comment of the day is popping up down below. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and the bell. Leave a comment down below on this video for your chance to be next video's comment of the day. Guys, today we are continuing the fishing kit series. You guys absolutely love the series on the channel. And instead of being at Walmart today, we are actually here at Dick's Sporting Goods. I've never been inside here looking for fishing kits before. So this is going to be exciting today. We also have some guy blaring some tunes, but we also got my boy. Yak What's Pack up? Outdoors What's here. Good. Guys, if you want to check out his YouTube channel, it's going to be linked down below, top of the description. You already know what to do, but today we're going to go into Dick Sporting Goods. I haven't been in here in like a year, so I'm super excited to go in here, see what fishing kits they have, and we're going to choose one of them today and put it to the test. Let's go ahead, get inside. Yak Pack and I here have made it into Dick's <laughs> Sporting Goods. He's actually looking at the clearance rack right now. If you want to check out Yak Pack's video, he's going to be linked at the top of the description down below. Make sure you guys go check him out. But today we are looking for the fishing kits here in Dick's Sporting Goods. I've actually never looked at their fishing kits before. We normally do these at Walmart, so I can't wait to see what they have. Guys, check this kit out right here. It's like a jitterbug kit. Guys, this could be so cool. It comes with a jitterbug, a hula popper, and another jitterbug, dude. This could be a super fun kit to use. We might use that today. What? Oh, dude, look, a popper kit. Do they have this one at Walmart? I don't think they do. Mm -mm. Nah, not, the, not with the gold in it. That's fire. That's a fire color yes. right there. Let me know if you guys want to see the popper kit. Check this out over here, guys. We got like the cranking kit. So we have the crankbaits, the lipless crankbaits. There's so many new kits here that are super cool. Then we have like a little crankbait kit down here. There's so many options. Look, more crankbait kits. There's so many kits here. What? This is fire. A swim bait fishing kit. Oh my gosh. Dude, there's so many. Look, look at all these fishing kits, bro. These are awesome. How am I gonna choose what I'm gonna get? Guys, there's so many kits here in Dick Sporting Goods. Look at this. A Gary Yamamoto Cinco kit. I've never seen so many kits in a store before. I'm definitely gonna have to make my way back here. So guys, according to Yak Pack, I've never been to this pond before, but he's saying that the top water is fire and so many of you have commented down below wanting to see a topwater frog fishing kit. And I've wanted to do it so bad, but where I live in North Florida, the frog fishing isn't all that great, but I'm gonna take advantage of it while we're down here. Let's see if we can't find ourselves like a topwater fishing kit anywhere. I haven't seen one yet. Guys, look at this. So hiding under this ultralight kit right here, which also could be a really cool video to do sometime on like an ultralight rod and reel combo, but there is frog kits here. Look at this, the Booyah Pad Crashers. This one's like all green, but this one comes with a ton of different colors. I think we might have to get the pack that comes with a ton of different colors, just so we can try all the different colors and see what works. All right, guys, this is going to be the fishing kit we're fishing with today, the Booyah Pad Crasher Fishing Kit, the three top water frogs. If you guys want to win this kit, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel and hit the bell. Leave a comment down below on this video. Let me know which fish kit you guys want to see next, because there is so many fishing kits in here that I definitely want to do another one. And leave a like on the video, and that's all you have to do. Those three simple steps, and you're entered to win this bass fishing kit. Hey, Yak Pack. Yak Pack, you ready to go fishing, buddy? Yeah, let's do this. I'm actually doing the three for 10 deal, and that's... Oh, all right, let's go. All right, guys, we've made it here to the pond. We're here with Christian. Christian is gonna be taking me around. Yak Pack is all the way over there with his buddy, Bobby, and they're doing the fish boy stuff. But we have this topwater kit, and we have to put this thing to the test. Let's go ahead and open this up. All right, so here's the three frogs that came in the kit. We have this brown one right here. That looks super good. We also have a green frog. You have to have a classic green frog and then we have this black popping frog these other two are walking frogs this one's a popping frog which one out of these three would you guys throw let me know which one do you think we should start out with christian brown brown all right all right guys so we're going to start with that brown frog the goal today i'm not sure if we're going to be able to do it but catch a fish on every single color frog that's going to be the challenge it's going to be a lot of fun christian what's in here man we have bass and snakeheads. And snakeheads. So those are the two target species. I've caught a few snakeheads here in the past few videos. If you guys have not seen those, make sure you go check them out. But I haven't caught like a big snakehead yet. And these things get big and they get mean. So we're going to go ahead and start fishing. Let's get to it. Oh, oh, dude, that's a good bass on the frog, bro. Look at how fat that bass is. Cut the one on the green frog. That's awesome. So my audio is broken for this clip, so I'm gonna voice it over, but basically Christian and I are walking, searching for big snakeheads, and we're fan casting for snakeheads, bass, stuff like that. And Christian spots a massive snakehead here on the bank, tells me to cast at him. So I cast my brown frog at him and reel it super quick. You guys can see the blow up right here. Nails it on the bank, 
said the hook, my PB snakehead, why was this the clip that my audio was broken? That makes zero sense. Out of the hundreds of clips I took, my PB snakehead clip doesn't have audio, but I'm showing them off to everybody. We got the picture and stuff like that, talking about how beautiful these snakeheads are, because they truly are beautiful, even though they're invasive, and we let them go. Now, back to the video. Guys, that is my first good size snakehead. Absolutely hecked up my frog. Look at this. Don't even look like a frog no more, but we're going to go ahead, tie on a different color frog, just to see if we can catch a fish on all three. This brown frog is absolutely donezo after that snakehead. So, we have the option of this green frog, or the black popping frog. I think what we're gonna do, go with the green frog and save the popping frog for later in the day when it gets a little bit more dark outside, we can make more noise and maybe draw up some big fish. Snakeheads are dope though. Well, I've never tried it, but... Holy moly. Welp, that's the first blow up on the green frog. And I completely whiffed the hook set. I'm not paying attention. <sighs> Got my heart beating though, not gonna lie. Oh, you got him. Oh, <laughs> that's a solid one, bro. Oh my gosh. Look at that. On the green frog, Christian just nailed the fish that missed mine. That's a Mondo snake, bro. Congrats. Oh, I spy lily pads and I spy a fountain, which means that there's fish nearby. Ugh. Guys, we've been walking so much today, my legs are about to fall off but it's worth it. Oh, oh my gosh. No. Oh, Yak Pack and I made a little side deal. Whoever catches the first bass gets their slushy paid for at McDonald's after this. Next fish. Oh, it could be a snakehead or a bass. I'm sorry. See you later, Yak Pack. Oh no. Yak Pack did it. Yak Pack did it. Give me that slushy, boy. Give me that slushy. No. All right, well, Yak Pack gets the slushy now. He just nailed one. But I have time for Yak Pack because we got to go catch one on the small frog. <sighs> Guys, we literally have 20 minutes of daylight left to catch them on these frogs. But that's good because we are in the prime time for topwater bass fishing and snakehead fishing. So this is going to be juicy if we can get one to come up for it. Yeah, I think there's one right where you just casted. Oh, right here at the bank, dude. A bass. <laughs> Guys, that scared the heck out of me. That is frog number two done. My boy Christian over here slammed them on this frog today. The same exact frog I'm throwing. You guys saw that before, but I finally caught one on this frog. Good bass there, right here at the bank. Whew. Give me a heart attack. See you, buddy. All right, guys, it's time to tie on our last frog, the popping frog. I think this one's going to be the hardest one to complete, but we're going to give it a go. All right, guys, we're throwing the popping frog in prime hours of black popping frog. This one's a little bit heavier, a little bit bigger of a frog, so I can actually throw this way further, which I think is going to help a lot here. Oh, got him. Got him, guys, on the popping frog. <laughs> Challenge complete, Yak Pack, and we were running out of time, bro. Dude, I literally Woo. just completed mine, and you literally just completed yours. <sighs> That's what crazy, God, guys. Dude. Guys, these exotic snakehead are so much fun to catch. It's so much fun going down these banks and not knowing if you're going to slam a toad bass or you're going to slam one of these snakeheads. I love fishing down here in these ponds, and there's water more than there's land down here in South Florida, bro. It's crazy. There's so much water to fish. Love the topwater bites. We're gonna let them go. We completed the challenge. Caught a fish on every single frog in the box, so I tied the brown one back on, because we still got a little bit of daylight out here. Barely a couple minutes worth, but we're gonna fish it until we cannot anymore. Comment down below, guys, what your favorite topwater fishing lure is. Mine is probably the spook, even though we've had a ton of fun on the frog today. I really do love a spook. You just can't beat it, but let me know your favorite topwater lure down below. I'm interested what everybody likes. Oh, got him guys, got him. He came off. Oh my gosh, guys, that was a monster. Are you kidding me? That thing literally peeled drag and I have max drag. 
Oh, slam the topwater frog. Heck. <laughs> Guys, I don't know if that was a bass or a snakehead, but whatever it was, it was freaking big. Oh, got him. There we go, guys. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. Guys, another bass came off at the bank. I tried. I tried my hardest. What's the deal? I guess I'm not yanking him hard enough. Oh no, you ripped that one. I don't know what happened there. Unlucky on that one, folks. <laughs> oh, oh. Got him, guys. Oh, <gasps> we did it. With zero time left, the sun is behind the houses. I casted right behind the yak pack, and I was like, there's no way I'm gonna catch a fish. My frog land in the same spot. Caught this nice bass, big head on this one. Whoo! About time I got one of these suckers on land, folks. We're gonna go ahead, let him go. See you, buddy. All right, guys, we're good. It's getting super dark out here, so. I'll see you back in the truck. That's gonna do it for the video, folks. It's actually the next day. I waited till the next day just because it got so dark outside that I wanted to wait till it was right outside to film the outro. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I had an absolute blast catching multi-species topwater fish on the frog fishing kit. I want to do more frog fishing kits. I know there's one at Bass Pro Shops called like the Kermy Frog Kit. There's one at Walmart called the Lunker Hunt Frog Kit, and I'm sure there's a ton of other ones I don't know. So leave a comment down below which fishing kit you want to see next. It can be a frog kit or any other kit, and whichever one you guys comment the most, I will probably end up doing next. Make sure you guys subscribe to my boy Yak Pack Outdoors for taking me out fishing. He's going to be linked down below. Also, Follow Bass Fishing Productions and Christian's Instagram. I'll leave them linked down below. Those are the two other guys we went fishing with today. And they put us on some fish, so thank you for that. But guys, that's going to do it for this video. If you made it this far, obviously you enjoyed it, so make sure you hit it with a like. Also, subscribe and hit the bell to join the NARMY. But that's about all I got today, folks. Until the next fishing adventure, Fish Bump, I'm out of here.